So the excuse now is, oh, well, you don't have to give a notice. Thing is that we have always received a notice in the past, including two months ago. Then it was, oh, you need to talk to the mowers. Mind you, they're the ones who sent out the list. So that's fun. And the lady who sent out the list is not here today. So I will be coming back every day until I talk to her face to face. And I find it interesting that the other lady, the same one that I've had so many issues in the past, which I find interesting that she is also, she is actually breaking the rules of her lease, which I know she has a lease because she does not own it. And the lease says you are not allowed to have a outside leash that is hooked up to the house. Yeah, I noticed that yesterday when she put her dog on it as we were driving by. Because once again, she lives in the park. So yeah, I'm pissed. And this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous that she is wanting to have everything word by word followed, yet she can't follow her own. And also, it wouldn't matter if she owned it or not because the policy for the park is that there be no leashes on it. You know, let's say I'm pissed. Pissed over the fact that not only was the rose bush hit, but the fact that there is still grass where the rose bush was. You can tell there was a conceited effort for at least half of it. My side is half-assed, and you can tell that because literally the smaller area was hit with the lawn, with the thing, and she wonders why I have fucking tires. And yet in between the other one was not. So yeah, I'll be having a face-to-face -face discussion.